What is the Flyers Club? That's a great question. The Flyers Club is... Here's a special. No, no, no. no. <laughs> is many things to many people. That is the age-old question. The Flyers Club has been, it's, it's really a lens of which we look through everything from experience to travel to merchandise to memberships. It's a frame of mind. A group of discerning golfers who are really into experiences. And that's what we try to build. Great opportunities to play, great people to play with. Really unique in that way that we bring people together from around the world who are crazy about golf. We've had some great experiences both domestically and abroad. I always cherish the international piece because it's fun to see it through others' eyes when they've experienced it. Because many folks have not left this country to play golf. And when they see golf through a different lens, it's invigorating. And it's, it's fun to see it just kind of bubble up inside them. All right, this is the one o'clock starting time of the Flyers Club Goal Rush at Pasa Tiempo. Yeah, good hit. So the Gold Rush is the first event for the 2023 season for the Flyers Club. We decided to do Pasa Tiempo. It's just a really special place, I think. One, it's a great Alistair McKenzie course. And this is an absolute masterpiece. So the history behind the course is fantastic. It's part of the reason Augusta is Augusta. I mean, Bobby Jones came out here and walked the course with Alistair, who lives on the next hole. And he basically said, like, what you did here, I need you to do on some land in Georgia. The course is designed in 1929. We just walked past Mackenzie's house. And to see it kind of be the centerpiece of Western Collegiate Golf, special spot in part because of the caliber of player that has won here, the Ken Venturi. Ken Venturi, one of the most promising newcomers to the pro circuit. Here's Mark O'Meara. His last victory, the 85 Hawaiian Open. Scotty Scheffler. Number one in the Junior M World Rankings. Even a Scotty Scheffler who just won the uh, Players' Championship. It's just amazing to see that. So here at Pasa Tiempo, we've got a 36-hole event that's going on. About 28 golfers who are here today to experience um, Pasa Tiempo over the next couple days, actually, for this event. And it plays right into how we feel about and just being an opportunity for all in that regard. Just joined in December. This is my first event. Cool trips, great swag, uh, fun to golf. Why not? I think the biggest thing that separates us is our attention to detail and the bespoke nature of how we conduct everything. Oh, there's Flyers Club balls. Oh my God. Members love the swag. Oh, sweet. Now in modern times, it's fashion has become a big part of golf where you know, you're not just putting on, you know, your, your dad clothes, if you will. Uh, yeah, so we have uh, some goodies here from Peter Millar. We use the term heirloom piece a lot. We like things to have you know, really a classic feel, you know, this kind of alignment with Peter Millar for this event is a perfect example of that. We have a really cool hoodie that's been embellished with the Flyers Club and Pasa Tiempo logos. Kind of feels like a Cali vibe. Everything's extremely well thought out. Triple branded, big McKenzie fan, big Peter Millar fan, so super pumped on that. Everything combined into one to have this super exclusive offering that only us as Flyers Club members get to have. Flyers was founded in 2016, primary focus, international travel. And we were finding that, at least through the American lens, we're playing 36 holes a day, kind of like drink your face off, seven days, rinse, repeat. And frankly, they were overlooking the best part of these golf courses, which was the culture and the community that has surrounded the golf courses for hundreds of years. We use the term like-minded golfers and, and high golf IQ, just trying to describe our members and how they think about the game. To be able to just nerd out on all things golf history, architecture, golf courses, it's amazing. There's this sort of common appreciation of, you know, of tradition and, and of these places with history and in that sense like it's, it's amazing to be a part of a community like that. What makes this golf course so special? What makes this community so special? It really comes down to who the person is and how they're wired. We try and find good people and want to be open-minded to having different experiences. If we're doing our job right, when that person gets on a plane and comes to an event, they know they're gonna meet a like-minded person across the table for them or in their foursome. You're playing next to the financial advisor, the doctor, the plumber, the carpenter, and everybody kind of just checks their stuff at the door and shows up and it's about, about golf, it's about game and the life, and it's not about 
who you are beyond these walls. Hey, that was fun. That was fun. And it's great to actually kind of shed that layer when you come in. <laughs> Good to meet you. Really fun. Sir, we'll do it again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that you're with me again tomorrow. Uh.